Hey everybody, welcome to Next Commentary, playing Zoe Midlane versus Akali. Uh, to let you guys know why I have not been playing Zoe that recently... What? What? Guys... <laughs> you always ache like another brush before? Um... Zoe is just not really strong so far inside of Season 11. Her item paths are kind of bad. She feels mainly bad because CDR is much more difficult to get, and she's not a protobelt slash lichbane user um, as well as the other champions that have these really high win rates. Nash's Tooth is strong. She's not a Nash's Tooth user. That's what Kale is really good at. Akali is really good at using uh, protobelt if she builds it, but she's also a good lichbane user, so... There's quite a few champions that, um... Twitch is here, so annoying. Okay, cool. He left. We got two of the CS, not too bad. So yeah, she's just not very strong right now, and that's the reason why you don't see me playing her that often. Uh Give me the auto attack, man. No, I was trying to shoot it between the creeps there. It didn't work too well. Also, another thing. The new items are bad for Zoe. Redemption doesn't deal damage to minions. New GLP, which is an active item, sucks for Zoe. So there's all these tiny things that added together to make it so she's kind of not really strong anymore. Not only that, but tanks becoming a little bit stronger means that now she struggles even more because she is not a champion that kills tanks. She literally can, like, one-shot people with her long range, and she has range advantage over many people, and she has crazy team fighting sometimes with the summoner spells, but at the same time, there's a lot of champions that can actually shred tanks, and she definitely, she's not good at that. There's no way that you can ever say that she's good at shredding tanks. Like, she's just not. So, oh, I hit her there. Well, that was definitely not worth it for her. She played that really, really poorly. Not sure why she went in. As soon as she missed the first Q, it was just doomed. She just could not go in. Um, I guess we're we're just giving that. I could have rotated to try to help with it, but I have no idea where Twitch is. But he just died. He could literally just run mid here, so I guess I'm just gonna wait. Twitch support is very annoying. He's he's just gonna roam on me, try to like poke. Okay, we see him, so we can step back up. As soon as we see him, we're good to go. We might get ganked by Sedge here, by the way. Who's top? Door. Okay, there is an exhaust on the ground. She just used double Q, so now she has nothing. And she missed that. Oh. Really? Well, I really didn't expect her to just be sitting around the corner like that, but I guess so. I mean, Akali was kind of struggling, so I guess maybe she's coming for it. Uh, my mistake. Should have never went for the exhaust. I should have at least went for the exhaust and played towards the right side. I played towards left because there's less creeps over there. I was hoping I could land bubble on her to poke her, but clearly I just got myself killed. Sejimani, like, did quite a lot of damage there, even though I landed my bubble on Akali, so I just die. Bummer. Playing Zoe from behind. That's another death sentence, too. I mean, like, beforehand with Zoe, at least you could normally just reach a couple items and still be semi-useful. I would say that now, because if you get behind versus some of these champions that are ridiculously strong, you just kind of lose. It's really hard to come back. Good poke on that guy.
I had ghosts there, so it was a very easy roam. I just shoved a Kali kind of under her tower there, so I just had an opportunity to leave. We knew Sejuani was topside, we saw her recently. So running bot side, even if Twitch was inside the river, is really safe. Please don't kill me, here. Okay. I was hoping that she wasn't around this corner. There's a little spot where it's fog of war, and she's level six, so I didn't want to get one shot. A Kali literally can 100 to zero you like under tower if they're really, really good, the champion. Okay, I can't let him auto attack me anymore because his poison is gonna start stacking and dealing a lot each time he refreshes it. Um, I would love to be able to fix my wave. Don't have my ignite for 12. But we'll kill this guy too, so. Wish I got that kill. Oh. I have ignite coming back up here, so I could probably just flash and ignite her, hopefully. Oh wait, she has uh potions actually. She's dead. I'll just use my flash there. <clears throat> I didn't really have too much mana to use my R key, so um, I, I just need to immediately all in. And Twitch is doing very poorly this game. Extremely poorly. This Pike is kind of outclassing him by far. So lucky for us. Makes the game way easier. The reason why I use Redemption here is because I didn't know if she was going to reset or not, and I don't want her to reset. I, I want to stay her, uh, keep her in lane, so hopefully we can kill her. Okay, top lane is not doing too hot. I know Fjord is really strong right now. She's quite scary. Okay, nice kill bot lane. Maybe we can just play through bot, even though Fior is going to be really, really scary later on. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is the new item. This is worse GLP, basically. It's uh, slower to come out, harder to land. Feels like it deals less damage as well. It's just a worse. Worse in almost every single way, so. Uh, Twitch, honestly, is going to come in here. No, I'm just dead. Of course, I'm just dead. I R'd towards an Akali for some reason to try to one-shot that guy. Big mistake. You should never, ever get near an Akali if she has basically her ulti. You will, you will die, and there's almost no counterplay to it, so... Not at least during the early game. Maybe later on you can hit a bubble and try to counter her back, maybe, but for the most part, her champion basically counters you. So any 1v1s should just be lost unless you poke her out. You should be safe under your tower for the most part, though. So be sure that you're playing mainly around that and just around poke. Playing the range game severely. Okay, I got her. So she just walked in. Because there's a ward here, but I have a pink ward here, honestly, there's she can't see my Q coming. So, I mean, it was quite easy to land that one. The other one, she kind of walked in a straight line. So we just got her. <laughs> I mean, 
I don't, it didn't feel like she was using. Also, her ulti is kind of a long cooldown, so wasn't too hard to know that uh, I should be safe if I go on her because uh, the chances of her ulti being up are quite slim. Or, I mean, it's basically zero because we know that her ulti is like two minutes long before she has CDR. And a lower cooldown on her ulti also when she gets higher levels, so. With all those things being in mind, picked up a free kill. Mistake on her end. She should have just waited for Sejuani to be closer. Maybe she felt safer because Sejuani was paying on the way because she did arrive quite quickly there, so. Could have been a big mistake there, uh, just uh, feeling safe that somebody was coming nearby. Yep, she won't protobelt. Protobelt is by far one of the strongest items in the game. Um... And I'm dead. Wow, but... Oh, she doesn't die. The Twitch poison slowing me down was too much, unfortunately. Uh, she wouldn't be able to kill me there if she was alone. The Twitch actually did way more. Got her flash, though, I guess. I should have never even stepped up for the sleep. I should have just backed off. There was no reason to even go for that. Also, I think she didn't even use her protobelt. So she could have made an even bigger mistake than uh, expected. I feel like I never saw it. Or actually, maybe she used it here to come towards me. Anyways, it gives you movement speed, so it's pretty nuts. Try to chase people down with it. Still quite far away from our item. We're, we're severely far behind compared to this guy for amount of gold that we have. We don't even have our Ludens. She has Merc Treads and her item, so she's effectively like 600 gold ahead of us. But the biggest thing is that she has actually completed her item. That's huge. That hit a minion, I think. I have no idea. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I think it did hit a minion. Okay. We see where Twitch is. Hopefully, that's going to help out. We see where Akali is. I'll just shove out bot lane. Keep on going for my item. Unfortunately, my team's probably going to lose this team fight. So, because we are severely down in numbers here. I will have my item very, very soon. There was no way to get that guy. I don't have enough, uh... Deed. Guy's really low still, by the way. That's gonna hit. Yeah, my Q. Really nice. Well played. Blocked her down. They probably won't contest this. Twitch actually had the shutdown. Alright, so he needs to die. We'll shove up bot one more. Uh, there shouldn't be anybody down here that can kill us, I think. So... The only person that would be here is Twitch. Okay, Twitch is mid. And we have our Ludens. So we can go by. Now I'm coming mid, so we can maybe defend. I have never tried Cosmic Drive before, just to try to salvage the CDR issue, so I might just rush that. I've never tried it. I 
I'm up a level on this guy mainly because I was just split pushing for such a long time and she kept on grouping, so. Uh, she has. So Fiora has no MR, so she's actually quite easy to kill. I really don't want to go side lane here, but I'm probably gonna have to. So. Okay, the lane shoved out. It's solo blue, probably. Take me a little bit of time, but we have nothing else happening on the map. Everybody's kind of chilling. Obviously, the only objectives really are Rift and the towers. Rift is probably the easiest because it's not going to put us into a position to get flanked. I don't wonder if we can just do it. Start it. That's going to hurt. Ouch. Play around poke, play around vision. Hopefully, don't get caught out. Okay, bot, they're playing for bot here, so we. Will, I'm going to go top here. I swear I just saw a Kali bot too, right? Or... Hoping that I didn't. Oh, one for one trade bot is massive, by the way. Because they 3v1'd and they lost. They should kill that guy and take tower for free. So now, in a one for one where they, they put... Okay, basically people are resources. And they put all of their resources bought. And they failed to get him and get out. In a one for one trade, while we have resources split. So that means we're getting a lot done. As you can see, I just took top tower, we took mid tower. Akali tried to go into a 1v3 scenario for some reason and killed herself. So. And this is all probably from a mistake. Somehow bought something happened where I guess they tried to tower dive Mike, Maokai and failed. Not sure what happened. So let's try Horizon Focus. Haven't tried it before. Or not Horizon Focus, Cosmic. Let's just see how it feels to have. Finally, some ability haste on this champion. After that, let's just ignore the Lich Bane buy, I suppose. I'll just go for, like, normal, standard, super high AP value, so maybe I can go just straight Death Cap next, or... Could go Void Staff, I suppose, but there's not too much magic resist yet on their team, so I'm probably... Death Cap is just so expensive. It's 3,600 gold, just so much. I could maybe try Lich Bane after that, depending if I need to build a Void Staff this game or not. Uh, we can have bot lane here versus her. The reason why it shouldn't be too difficult to do this is because... Uh, we shoved out top so far. You see how far away Akali is? She needs to still shove for a long time to... Um, actually crash this wave. If a wave is not crashing... You have plenty of time to catch it. You don't need to catch a wave until it crashes. Of course, if you have time to catch it, then sure, why not? But I'm saying that the reason why I could even join that fight ball lane is because there was free time to do it, basically. Oh, I thought you weren't going to ulti. I'm so sorry, dude. I had no idea that guy was going to ult. Dude, what the fuck? So much damage. Oof. Big damage. This is a little scary. We got a big chunk though on her. I'll pick up our protobelt here. Okay, I'm gonna flash away from that guy. That guy will literally kill me, so. I have to play the kite game here. Oh, she stepped on it. She's dead.
I... Listen. What the hell? That was so weird, I lagged out. Um... My ping was so high there, I missed every ability. Anyways, I have my Cosmic Drive now. The reason why that team fight was really easy, I think, was mainly because Akali really made it. Like, she. Okay, what did Akali do that team fight? She got hit by a huge chunk early on, and then she ultis in and basically immediately died. So she didn't even get to contribute to the game. Uh, Fior goes for me and misses her Q because I flashed. It's not like she missed it, I, I, I flashed away from it, which actually puts her Q on a higher cooldown. And then she kills MF. But after that, she can't really. She wasn't able to do more. I guess she, she's not too fed yet, so she fortunately can't one v nine yet. Uh, I'm gonna sit on a stopwatch as my defensive. I'm gonna come for this as well. We are up two levels on Akali because just. I guess just because she didn't play early waves or something, like when I caught bot wave for such long time, she just was not, she was just grouping. And I mean, when you're sharing experience, is not gonna, you're gonna get behind, <laughs> basically. So, if she did split push, by the way, I would've been in such a bad situation. I do not, I had no item. That's what I was afraid of, but I was put against Jin, which was great. Absolutely wonderful. That's gonna hit, yep. It was timed perfectly with her, uh... Parry. I don't know how this works. Oh, okay. So this damages... Uh... This is like a little dash, and then also it damages if they're within the circle. I don't know how much damage it deals, but... Hey, I got it. <laughs> a Mumu, uh, when he auto attacks people, it gives 10% true damage to whatever he's landing. And wow, that, that guy is just inting. Maybe they're trying to pop FF vote. A lot of times when people just go in like randomly, that's normally the case. Is she here? <laughs> I'm not face checking a Fior man. I have no idea if she was sitting inside that brush or not. I can maybe go bot here though. Maybe we can, uh, me and Maokai can get her. Possibly. Oh. Never mind. She's backed up. Wow, that did 100 damage. <laughs> okay. Pretty bad item for me. Should we do it? Magi's? Why is he spamming his wards? We'll go Magi's. Airplane mode. We have 38 magic pen right now, by the way. We deal true damage to Jin. We also get movement speed from Cosmic Drive, but honestly, it is not really that significant. You definitely don't buy Cosmic Drive for the movement speed. You're buying it for the CDR. How much movement speed does it give me? 20. Like, <laughs> that's less than level 1 boots. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Never buy this item for movement speed. Might as well go Lich Bane <laughs> if you want movement speed. Wow, that was so close to landing. Fior is just split pushing bot, so I guess we're going for end or what? I just killed Jin, by the way, with that key. Okay, we can just end the game here. Anyways, can you still win on Zoe? Of course you can. 
but she is not super OP or anything. She was definitely stronger in Season 10 because of the factors that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Her win rate across the board, across all regions inside of Masters Plus, is around 46%. In last season, it was around a 50 to 51%, so her win rate dropped 5%. And that's not because of like people learning the new items, it's because the new items are just not good on her. So, Protobolt users are the strongest right now. The nerfs haven't happened yet, though. When the nerfs happen, maybe things will change. Maybe Zoe will become a little bit stronger. But that's the reason why I'm playing her way less, making videos on her less. If you ever join my stream, I stream on Twitch.tv. Just the Pecan Wolf, just like my YouTube. And uh, I've been playing her a lot less, too. Because um, she's just not really that strong right now. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. She has a very similar play style. Maybe going Cosmic Drive is the next best thing. And, oh, we still did most damage in the game, which is also kind of nice to see. Um, and it isn't just my opinion. I've talked to other Zoe mains within high elo, literally Zoe one tricks that were challenged or last season NNA, and they also say Zoe feels really bad right now. So it's not just my opinion. I'm not just saying it just because I think that I'm not finding success on it. It's just the new items don't benefit her that much. And honestly, getting rid of the GLP or like changing it into the new item does actually hurt her for her laning phase and the redemption, making it so it um, can't be used on minions. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary. If you did, be sure to drop a like on the video and I will see you guys next time.